then Peace Quest Project, of course. I've always a co-producer on Peace Quest Project. And they featured me on this current album this time, not just me featuring them. So it's is a back-to-back -back thing. Can you name one person you particularly enjoy working with? Like when you get into the studio? No, I enjoy like, working with everybody. The most important the do. most important aspect of it is yeah. when you get into the argument segment. Okay. Like the twins, the Peace Square Project. Yeah. Paul. You know the fact that they are twins, they can argue and we can fight. You know. But in the midst of the whole thing, I think it brings about the best of the both, you know, songs and it brings out the best in all of us and we're happy with it. At the end of the day, everybody gets happy with it, so. Okay. Did you study music? Did you...? I didn't study music, basically, but um, my mom was a quite mistress. That's one. So I think if I remember correctly, it's, um, she used to take me to choir practice. Back in the days when I was quite small, she would carry me behind and comes to church, drop me on the couch, and then she's teaching all those soft rotation. Do they me faster? You know, you have to sing the song on the soft rotation down before you sing the words. That's actually what music is. So yeah. I guess for me, music started developing from there. For me, then the rest is history. I think I remember back in the days I've been sent to school, but I won't go to school. Then I had this friend of mine as a childhood friend. I always give him tip, tip up, so he goes to school, does all the assignment for me. Then I get to the studio. They wouldn't allow me to come to the studio because I'm on my school uniform one. And I was quite What age were you there? How old were you? I think it's been age seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Then I'll come and sit down on the floor like, you know when you're in the mosque, when you want to pray, you mm. cross your legs. That's when I'll carry my school bag. I just sit down like this and I'm watching all of them, the way they play the way everybody bounce on time, the way everything happens, and they are all part of music for me. So what type of music did you listen to around that time? I listen to different type of genre of music. Um, personally, I'm very fast when it comes to music. Very fast. So you just grab things quite quickly. Mm -hmm. So there's no, there was no one that you inspired to be like while you were growing up? Um, personally, my mentor production-wise is Timbaland, and it hasn't changed. Okay. Timbaland, Timbaland, yeah, Timbaland. It's been amazing. I admire Timbaland recently, Kaya West, but Timbaland, Quincy Jones. But Timbaland is still number one. Then Steve Wonder and uh, Brian McKnight, Babyface. Okay. You know, just a couple of them. They really make good music. But my first, yeah. and I'll still be my first, is Timbaland. You can't change that. No, you just know Timbaland's sound. As soon as you hear it, yeah, you just know it's Timbaland, don't you? Of course. And let's just remind everybody what your album is called. Um, get get serious. serious, yeah, Get Serious. But at the end of this year, somewhere in November, I'm yeah. dropping what's called a singles album, which one of them is already out. That's just got massive airplay and it's really welcomed by people. Everybody loves it, they are waiting for. They actually thought I'm doing a new album, but it's not an album. Okay. Yeah. And um, it's called Elevated. Alleviated. Yes. Okay. It's like um, God picked you from the dust and all. And then I'm pulling up. Elevated. Yes. So that's what it's all about. So. Amazing. Really proud of what you're doing. And where can people get your stuff from? So you've got a website. Yeah, I've got a website. We're still under construction. Okay. Because the first one got, um, I think, some something happened, so it was off. Yeah. But very soon they will get it. We're trying to get distribution network from. UK here from Orchard Music and stuff. They are really yeah. interested, so we've been talking, you know, and all of that. Martins, and um, I'm sure you're so much in love with the song. Everybody's just in love with the song, plus me myself. <laughs> you know, and uh, the good or bad, the money good, the swagger dance, so fly, and all of that. Um, you can get the albums on iTunes, Cocktail Orchard Music, and Co. And I'm sure soon you get to get them in shots because they're trying to get to the distribution network here in the UK and all that. So for now, you can check our website, jmartinswebzone.com. 
Um, they're still under construction because the last one was closed down. But we're going to get back to you soon. So I look forward to seeing you. It's my first time in London, but there will be many times Jim has to come back. And of course, look forward to Yes Concert Part 2. I'm sure we're coming back this time. We're coming back quite strong. And we're going to blow your mind too. <laughs> so by that time, we're going to sing songs like Oyoyo, which is just a new single, and songs from all the artists from Yes Records and Yes Media. Thank you. God bless you. Keep watching Bear TV and touch that guy. Some people go the best say If you talk, you no talk, they go say You too talk, make we just take jolly, they go Dem mama, dem papa Make you not hear me, wello, wello Who God has blessed, I No one can call 